The iQOO Z6 Lite 5G is the latest budget 5G smartphone in India. This phone is the company's most affordable offering for the Indian market and promises to deliver best in class performance along with 5G network support. It also offers a 120Hz display, a dual camera setup and a beefy battery in the hopes to offer a good all-round experience. With a bunch of phones battling to be your go-to choice as the best 5G smartphone for around Rs 15,000, is the iQOO Z6 Lite 5G the best deal for you? We help you find out. Starting with the price, the iQOO Z6 Lite 5G's base variant with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage is priced at Rs 13999. The variant we tested packs 6GB of RAM, 128GB of internal storage and is priced at Rs 15499. The iQOO Z6 Lite 5G comes in two colors. iQOO sent us the stellar green color which looks more blue than green. The back panel has a gradient finish and shines when light falls on it. The color scheme makes the iQOO Z6 Lite 5G look a lot more premium than it actually is. For those who want a more classic shade, the phone comes in a mystic night color as well. The iQOO Z6 Lite 5G sports a flat frame design with a large rectangular camera module on the back similar to the Vivo V25 series. This design makes the phone feel a lot lighter than its actual weight of 194 grams. The power and volume buttons on the right side, although clicky, are a bit too recessed for my liking. At the bottom is the USB Type-C port, sandwiched between the 3.5mm headphone jack and the speaker grill. On the front, the iQOO Z6 Lite 5G has a 6.58 inch IPS LCD display. The bezels around the display are thin, except for the thick chin at the bottom. There is noticeable backlight bleeding around the edges of the screen. I would have liked to see an AMOLED display for a better viewing experience, but iQOO seems to have traded that for a 120Hz refresh rate. It is not the smoothest software experience I've had despite the high refresh rate, but I would not complain too much considering the price tag. The screen is fairly bright for outdoor use when you push the brightness bar to its limits. Like its older sibling, the iQOO Z6 5G, the iQOO Z6 Lite 5G also sports a water drop notch at the top of the display, which unfortunately gives the phone a slightly dated look. The iQOO Z6 Lite 5G is powered by the brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 SoC, which is based on a 6 nanometer process. It also packs a 5000mAh battery and supports 18W fast charging. Unfortunately, you do not get a charger in the box, but instead, this little note thanking customers for contributing towards the planet by reducing carbon emission. In terms of software, the iQOO Z6 Lite 5G runs on the Android 12 based FunTouch OS 12. It comes with a few third-party apps pre-installed, which can be uninstalled if needed. While FunTouch OS 12 has come a long way, it still needs a lot of catching up to do with other Android skins out there. Some of the features include the ability to customize the interface, such as personalizing the animation effects, adding themes and wallpapers, etc. The new update also gives users the option to match the color of the system and app UI colors with the wallpaper. That being said, the default browser app pushes at least 5 notifications daily. The only way to disable the spam notifications is by opening the app info window and then disabling the toggle. This could have been a one-step process had iQOO allowed users to disable notifications directly from the notification shade. The biggest highlight of the iQOO Z6 Lite 5G is its performance which is perhaps among the best in its price segment. While day-to-day -day tasks cause no issues, the games I played on the iQOO Z6 Lite 5G also ran smoothly on most days. Games such as Call of Duty Mobile ran on max frame rate and high graphics settings which is quite impressive for a phone in this price range. I noticed minor stutters at times but this was acceptable from a phone at this price. The bottom firing single speaker is fairly loud. While there is a 3.5mm headphone jack, the company has not packed a pair of wired earphones in the box. The phone also has a side mounted fingerprint scanner which is quick to authenticate and unlock. You also get the less secure AI face unlock as an alternative. Lastly, the phone supports only two 5G bands. Battery life is not disappointing as the phone lasts easily for a full day on a single charge. On days when I played games and used the camera, the phone returned around 9 hours of screen on time on a single charge. On other days with lighter use, the iQOO Z6 Lite 5G gave me over 10 hours of screen on time. In our battery loop test, the iQOO Z6 Lite 5G ran for 15 hours and 2 minutes. The iQOO Z6 Lite 5G has a dual camera setup on the back out of which only one is usable. There is a 50 megapixel primary camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. For selfies, there is an 8 megapixel front camera. To my surprise, the primary camera does a good job. Photos have good details and the colors are slightly saturated with decent dynamic range. That being said, the white balance goes for a toss at times and the colors are either on the cooler side or you see a cast of pink hue. 
Night mode on the iQ Z6 Lite 5G ensures that the sky looks black and grey and not dark blue, but it messes up with the white balance by adding a pink cast. One major issue that I have with the phone is that it does not offer night mode in the lower 4GB RAM variant, which is disappointing. The front camera does a decent job with both colors and details. Portrait mode smoothens the skin way too much even when the beauty mode toggle is turned off. Selfies taken using the standard photo mode on the other hand produces better skin tone and texture. The iQ Z6 Lite 5G can shoot videos at up to 1080p 60fps using the rear camera. The front camera's video recording is limited to 1080p at 30fps. While the overall colors are decent, the dynamic range performance is not as good as some of the phones in this segment. The iQ Z6 Lite 5G gets it right in most areas when it comes to a budget 5G smartphone without compromising a lot. The 120Hz refresh rate is one of the highest in the segment and the camera performance is quite good for the price. I was particularly impressed with the phone's gaming performance, which by far is the best in my experience in this segment. The battery life is also pretty solid and can last all day. The iQ Z6 Lite 5G also undercuts the Redmi 11 Prime 5G by Rs 500 while offering better hardware, which makes it a good deal. That being said, having no charger in the box is a bummer, but one can take it as a trade-off for the better hardware and performance that the phone offers. What I did not like though was iQOO skipping some features such as night mode in the base 4GB RAM model. We would recommend buying the 6GB RAM variant of the phone if you want basic 5G support without compromising on the overall performance.